After discussing the number of design, drawing, embedded in the central composite model or CCD, it is necessary to discuss how to determine the amount of alpha. In this design model, the alpha value is determined according to the type of central composite model selected. The central composite design model has different types which are face-centered, rotatable, VIF optimality, G-optimality and auto-defined. This figure shows the types of central composite design types in the ANSYS Workbench software. In the central composite model of the face center type, the value of alpha is considered to be 1, that is level plus alpha and level minus alpha are equal to level plus 1 and level minus 1 respectively. And level 0 has a value in the middle of the two values of maximum and minimum. In fact, we can say that this type has three levels for dividing each of the input parameters. For example, suppose an input parameter has a maximum and minimum value of 90 and 110 respectively. Therefore, values 90 and 110 indicate level minus alpha and level plus alpha or the same level plus 1 and level minus 1 and the mean value of this range for example 100 the 100 also indicates level 0 now suppose that according to the previous table we have an example that the radius parameter defined in the experimental design environment table has a range of changes from 90 millimeter to 110 millimeter and use the face centered method and this figure shows the table created in the software environment of the ANSYS workbench. To calculate the value of alpha in the rotatable design model, the following formula must be used, in which k represents the number of input parameter or factors, thus the value of alpha for the two-factor model is 1.414. For the three-factor model is 1.681, for the four-factor mode is 2, and so on. For example, suppose an input parameter has a maximum and minimum value of 90 and 110, respectively. Therefore, values 90 and 110 indicate level minus alpha and level plus alpha, and then mean value of this range for example, 100 also indicates level 0. Since the present model has three input parameters, the alpha value is 2 power 3 divided to 4, that is equal to 1.681. Therefore, the values for level plus 1 and level minus 1 are also obtained as follows using the median between 0 and 1.681 and 0 to minus 1.681. Now suppose that according to the uh, previous table we have an example that the radius parameter defined in the experimental design environment table has a range of chains from 90 mm to 110 mm and a rotatable method has been used. This figure shows the table created in the ANSYS Workbench software environment. The difference between face-centered and rotatable models is that the face-centered model has three dividing levels for the design points, the location pattern of the design points doesn't have a rotating shape and its advantage is that the sample points of its design is placed in all corners and all sides. The rotatable model has five levels for dividing the design points. The pattern of the design points has a rotating shape. The weakness of which is that the design points are not located in the corners and its advantage is that the projected variance for both points of the design pattern which are at the same distance from the central point of the design is equal. 
The Variance Inflation Factor or VIF optimization model has five response levels for each input parameter. In this model, the value of alpha is calculated based on the minimization of the non-orthogonality value, which is known as the variance inflation factor. In fact, as mentioned earlier, this is the central composite method for completing the central composite design or CCD model in terms of orthogonality. The coefficient of determination of an independent variable based on the regression equation of that variable with other independent variables is obtained by using the least error square procedure. Now the value of the variance inflation factor or VIF is equal to the inverse of the difference in the number of one of the coefficients for determining each of the input variables relative to the other input variables. This equation determines the value of the inflation variable index of the variable i based on the least square procedure. The error of its equation is a regression with other variables j. Therefore, it is clear that the greater the number and degree of correlation of an independent variable with other independent variables in the form of regression equation, I mean increase the size and number of rj power 2. According to the, this formula, the VIF value of that variable increases. In fact, as the increasing correlation between the independent variables themselves reinforces the collinearity phenomena, so does the amount of variance inflation. For example, suppose an input parameter has a maximum and minimum value of 90 and 110 respectively. Therefore, values 90 and 110 indicate level minus alpha and level plus alpha. And the mean value of this range 100 also indicates level 0. Since the present model has three input parameters, the value of alpha according to the operating formula of the variance factor is equal to 1.23. The values for level plus 1 and level minus 1 are also given in this table. Now suppose that according to the above pattern, we have an example that the radius parameters defined in the experimental design environment table has a range of chains from 90 mm to 110 mm and the optimization method of variance inflation is used. This figure shows the table created from the experimental environment in the ANSYS workbench software. The G-optimality model can minimize the amount of error expected based on forecasting as well as minimize the largest expected variance in the target range according to the forecast. In fact, as mentioned earlier, this is the central composite method for completing the central composite design or CCD model in terms of minimizing leverage. For example, suppose an input parameter has a maximum and minimum value of 90 and 110 respectively. Therefore, values 90 and 110 indicate level minus alpha and level positive alpha. And the mean value of this range 100 also indicates level 0. Since the current model has three input parameters, the value is 2.06. The values for level plus 1 and level minus 1 are also given in this table. Now suppose that according to the previous table we have an example that the radius parameter defined in the experimental design environment table has a range of chains from 90 mm to 110 mm and the G optimization method is used. This figure shows the table created in the ANSYS Workbench software. 
In how to define mode, the software automatically selects the most appropriate central composite design model or CCD according to the number of variables or input parameters, usually between two models, G-Optimality and VIF. It is recommended to use the same automatic software selection mode, but if the divided values of the input parameters do not show a good fit with the response surface diagram, it is better to use a rotatable model. This figure shows a space for design points for a model with two input parameters which simultaneously locate the design points based on different patterns related to the central composite design method or CCD. These patterns include face center, rotatable, VIF optimality and G optimality. Using this image, we can compare the distribution of design points in two parameter space. Master CFD experts are ready for DOE analysis, consulting, training, and CFD simulation. To benefit from Master CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at sign mastercfd.com.